Memento Mori. This is what was said to the triumphant generals when they returned to Rome after a great victory in battle and had the biggest day of their lives, a triumph, a parade through the city streets of Rome. Carpe diem, seize this day. Memento Mori, remember you shall die. Time management. Now, in life, time is going to be your big scarce resource. There's never enough time to do everything. You can use systems, getting things done, Covey's time management matrix. These systems allow you to be more efficient in how you use time. Perhaps you can gain 20, 30, 40%. Maybe you could even double the effectiveness of how you use time to get things done. But all you're going to do is add percentages. You're never going to have a transformation. The only transformation you can make in your life that really starts to use time differently is to start to say no to things. Becoming more efficient at doing the wrong things is not the route to productivity. Starting to realize what's important to you and dedicating time to what's important to you is the true route to effective time management. Now, I want to tell a quick story about Jim Collins. Jim Collins is the author of several books. Good to Great, I think, is the greatest business book uh, written. And Jim Collins uh, has a couple of things. One, he doesn't let any electronic device in the same room as him before midday. So no electronic device, no interruption can get into his life before midday every day. This allows him to focus on what's important to him, not the interruptions. The second thing that Jim Collins does, he carries three stopwatches always in his pocket. And as he lives his life, when he teaches, he takes out the teaching stopwatch, starts. When he finishes teaching, he stops it. When he's writing, he takes out the writing stopwatch, starts. And when he's finished writing, he stops. And his third stopwatch is to measure the time he spends thinking, what he calls white space thinking. No interruptions, blank sheet of paper, and a pen. And he calculates the time he spends on those three priorities in his life. He's decided those are the things that are important to him, and he's going to measure how much time he's dedicating to those three things. So in your life, being more effective at using your calendar, being better at managing email, these are just going to add 20, 30, 40% to your effectiveness. It's only when you start to say no to demands and start to focus on the things that are important to you that time management is going to be something that really transforms what you achieve in life. So as we started with carpe diem, memento mori, time is limited, seize the day.